Thank you for being here for this practice with us today. Michael and I have a special practice, and as I just said to him, there's always rewind and edit, and this is a very spontaneous practice. This is how I do my practice. And my inspiration today is not only Michael playing live music for you, but I'm dedicating this one to Bodhi, my guardian of being, because I've had a difficult time getting back on my mat and just letting my body play. So what I remembered is that our body is music. We have music in our cells, I do believe, and that's how I've always practiced. So this practice is um, being accompanied by Michael, but it's coming from deep inside my felt sense. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna ask you, uh, grab a blanket and some blocks so that you have a little more comfort. It will be slow flow, but challenging, I believe. And I'm gonna ask you to sit on a block if you're not comfortable on your shins. If that just doesn't work, take your legs out in front of you. But I'm gonna read from the Radiant Sutras because I want you to imagine that your body, you can close your eyes if you like, your body is music. And when we create music, it comes from the notes, but there's a staff that holds those notes. And we generally aren't tuned into each individual note, we're we're feeling the staff. So as you're sitting, think of your whole torso, and particularly your pelvis, and begin to ground into your pelvis. And you can make, as you can see, I'm making just small circular motions, just to acknowledge movement and, and our natural innate desire and need for movement. But feel your torso as the staff. And the notes are all the other parts of your body. You might sense the way your toes, the tops of the toes are hitting the ground, or your shins, your flexion in your knees, come into your hands and your your shoulders, any part of your body. So those are all the notes. And when we do a yoga practice, we're creating this beautiful music from inside and sending it out through our body. So I'm going to read this passage for you before we get started. Close the ears that track the outer world. Open the ears of the soul. Engage the muscles at the base of the pelvis, the intimate special places, and cherish the vibrating energies there contained the song of creation, sustaining, enlivening, is thrumming in your body, whispering secrets. Listen, listen in, meditating on the symphony of your own life currents. Enter the place of the creator the creator and the creative. And that's what I've lost with losing Bodhi. I've lost my spark of creativity or spanda, playfulness as we call it in yoga, the, the, the spark of the universe. So I'm going to do the spontaneous practice. I hope it is something that you can follow me along with. And also if you need that little boost of spontaneity and spring in your step. That's what this practice is for, is finding the music within your body. Take a moment, place your hands in your heart center. As I mentioned, my practice is for Bodhi. If there's someone you would like to dedicate this practice to, if they were watching you and you knew that they wanted to see you happy and joyful and and appreciative of all the parts of your body, think of that person, persons, animal, And take a breath in, big breath in, and breathe out your mouth. And next breath in, reach your arms overhead. And breathe out, let your arms just fall with gravity. And continue that. Your staff, the center of your being, your torso. But as it is with music, We have to learn the notes with music to hear this whole sound. And with yoga and all these body practices, 
we learn about the parts to feel and appreciate the whole. So reach through your fingertips. Take your gaze upward. What can you learn if you do this movement just a little bit differently? Play a different note. Touch your tongue to the roof of the mouth. And let your hands come back down. We're gonna change the movement to get this staff going forward and back. So as you inhale, take your thumbs back and your arms back, your heart forward will come into a little bit of a back bend. Tilt the pelvis forward. As you exhale, take the arms together and round your spine. As much as you want to, close your eyes. Follow your own tune from within. The basic movement is here for you. But maybe you want to sing harmony and do something a little different. Open your arms up, smile. How can you find your spark of inspiration? Let's add on to this. As you begin to open, see if you can come up on your shins and let your pelvis come forward. And you can take a seat back down on your block. Inhale, use your strong backside to open your front side. Notice now your thighs. What notes can you feel? And what kind of music does that play in your body? Take one more, if you'd like. And pause and hold. You can let your arms drop. Release that. If you have the block, remove the block and come down into your seated position. Taking both legs out in front of you, hands behind you, just roll your legs around a little bit. Acknowledge those notes. You can move your toes. And then we're gonna leave the left leg extended, bring the right foot into the inner thigh. Always option to put a blanket or a block underneath your right knee if you'd like. And foul the music of your inner body just by making some sways back and forth, some circles. I've never really thought of these as postures because there's a sense of rigidity to me. Each position holds movement potential for you. Don't name it, feel it. We're gonna change just slightly. Take your right hand to your side, press into your right hand, reach through your left foot, and as you breathe in, see if you wanna come up on your right, it might just be your outer right shin or forward, and reach through your left arm and your left toes. And breathe out. Let yourself sit back down. Lengthen through the left side. And sit and replenish. Any motion with your arm, it can be circular, sweeping, any direction. We sense the parts to feel the whole. And see if you want to take one in motion and just stop and pause, listen to your inner music. Allow yourself to come back down. I'm going to take the right leg and cross it over the left. Going into rotation, we'll take our torso, our staff into rotation. Inhale your arms up. And as you breathe out, turn to the right. And we'll do that a few times. Release, inhaling up, lengthening through the spine. Breathing out and rotating. Maybe you want to bring your 
head in. Think of your head as one of the musical notes and what if you ga- lead with your gaze or your eyes. You could even lead with your skull. So be playful as you explore coming in and out of each posture, position. Let your breath support you and pause. Think of all your cells vibrating and the breath, the way it can serve you in this posture. And breathing into the whole of your rib cage. Is there anything that can relax a little bit more? Breathe out, let it fall towards the floor. Breathe out and come back to your center. Take both legs out again. Just give them a little uh, thank you shake. And we'll switch sides. Right leg will stay long, left foot coming into the inner thigh. Always an opportunity again to support your left knee. Sometimes one side needs it, the other doesn't. Where does your staff want to go? And if you go side to side, do the notes play differently than if you come forward and back or make circles? What is the music that wants to emerge from your body right now? back to straight spine. If you've got the block, remove that. Take your left hand to the ground for a bit of support. As you breathe in, take your pelvis forward, reach through your right leg, press your left shin into the ground, and lift yourself up. And let the breath out just carry you back down onto the ground. Breathe in and reach. Breathe out and sit. And then make it yours. Harmonize, make circles with the arm if you'd like. Where do you lead from? Do you lead from your right foot, pressing the foot into the ground, your left shin, the pelvis itself? Make the movement fit your body. Let it play your body. And stop and pause. Breathe out and release. We'll do the rotation on the other side. Right leg forward, cross your left leg over. Find your sit bones, come on tall. So we still have that alignment. But once we're in the alignment, that's just to keep us safe. And then we get to play. Inhale, reach up. And as you breathe out, turn to the left. Inhale, reach and lengthen, lift your side bodies. Acknowledge the spaciousness. As you breathe out, carry that spaciousness with you. What are the notes that are playing on your staff right now? What parts of the body? You break it down. What do you feel in this movement? Is it your waist, which is a whole big area? Rib cage, shoulders, head and neck. And how does your body play that as a whole? And come into your rotation. See if you just want to pause and feel. Let your breath be the vibration moving your body. Breathing in, you might sense your rib cage expanding. 
Breathe out, feel the ribs slide in towards one another. And breathe out, release. Take the soles of your feet together, not even naming poses, it's just a position. Let them play a little bit. What happens when your feet touch one another? What happens when your hands touch your feet? Give yourself a little foot massage. As you do so, let your torso move. Say hello to these notes, these things that carry us through every day. And making any movements that help you to settle into this new position to make your own music. Keep the soles of the feet together. In fact, press them together, especially the big toe side. Imagine hugging your inner thighs into your arms a little bit. Take the hands behind you as you push your feet together. Inhale and lift the pelvis off the ground. And exhale, come back down. So push the feet, hug the inner thighs. Inhale and lift. And exhale, release. Feel the way the feet are now an important note in your composition. You can press your pinky toes down. And you can stay here if this feels uncomfortable. Walk your feet a little bit wider apart. Push your feet into the ground. Strong arms. They're on the scale now, too. And slightly release it. Come down. Let's come to all fours. See how that feels and how it fits us today and how it sounds. Breathe in and arch your back. And breathe out, press back. Breathe in and come forward, arching your back. Breathing out, pressing back, and we can go back and forth. You can also go side to side. Let your hips swing and sway. There are no limitations to your music. And we could have 30 people in the room and everybody would be doing this slightly differently because it's your music and your body. Add to this, press back, and next time you breathe in, press your shins into the ground, raise your arms up. Breathe out, drop your hands behind you. You can place them on your low back for some support. Breathe in, lift your heart. And breathe out, slowly coming back down, head to the ground, hands to the ground. Let's repeat that three more times, maybe. Maybe it's four, maybe it's five. Breathe in. Round the back, breathe out, press back. Breathe in, lift, press the shins down. Take your gaze up, reach through your thumbs. Breathe out, release the hands to your back, perhaps. Breathe in, heart forward, hug your thighs. Breathe out, slowly letting your torso come back to the ground, hands find the ground. Breathing in and forward arching, breathing out, curling, pressing back, breathing in onto the shins, breathing out. This time, instead of supporting your back, if it feels okay, take your hands into a clasp, draw your elbows down. Keep that clasp as you breathe out, slowly coming down to the ground. Once you reach that position, release your hands. Last one, inhaling into the arch. Spread your fingers, push into the floor as you breathe out and press back. Breathing in, coming up. And we're gonna pause here on this last one so you can take your hands to your sacral area, first version. You can clasp your hands. Maybe you wanna keep them up here or maybe you're reaching back for your heels. If your heels aren't quite available, blocks are a nice way to do this. 
Almost said the name of the pose. Don't think pose, think play. Play in your body, play music. So the blocks can be there, hands on the sacrum. Breathe in and feel your front body expand. Breathe out, hug your inner thighs. Engage the back line of your body. Breathe in, release. Take just your left foot forward. Hands to the ground. Take some back and forth, some side to side. Wiggle your hips. And then set your legs up so you feel steady. Hug your thighs. Inhale your arms up. As you exhale, come forward. Take the hands behind you. Inhale, reach up. Take your gaze up. Exhale, hands back and forward. Do one more forward and back. What's playing in your body? Does it sound good? Does it feel good, right? Pausing here, drop your left hand to your hip and side bend with the right arm, reaching towards the left side. Take your left shoulder blade back. You can be still or it feels good just to move your wrists or your fingers. Play those little soft notes, the more subtle sensations. Taking the hand back down, roll the back right toe under, lift the right knee. Lift it up as you breathe in, as you breathe out, drop the right knee, drop into the left leg. Let's do a couple of these, pulsating the legs. Fingers can be on the ground, or once again, if you want some blocks. Bring your blocks in so you can get up a little bit higher. So that's important when you play your music feeling safe, feeling secure. So props are nice for that. And we're gonna find that position, pressing through the heel. Hands can stay on the ground for more support, hugging your thighs. You can come up to your knee. Otherwise, if you're there, take your left hand to your hip and one more time, side bend. Left hand might even come back towards your right thigh. Take that down, letting yourself land on your knee. We're gonna to turn towards the front of the mat because I just decided that's what we're gonna do. And just walk your hands back and forth, bending into your knees. As you go to the left, bend your left knee, right, right knee bends. Playing your body or maybe your body's playing you. Next time we're towards that left leg, just pause there for a moment. You can stay where you are. You could use blocks. You can start to come a little bit deeper, flipping the right toes up. Support yourself with your hands however you want or lift your right arm. So remember, you can also be up here holding. And there is no failing because you're, you're dedicating this to somebody who wants to see you smile and play your inner music. Take a moment. And then we're going to, this is where you might want to block. We're going to turn towards the right toes, drop onto the left shin. So if this posture is too deep, you're going to grab that block and put it underneath your right butt cheek. Otherwise, we sit onto the floor, roll the left calf away from you, right foot extended, so we're here, the block is underneath you. And there's that soft rhythm playing in your body, any movements that suit you. Cherish the feeling of your 
left knee, that sense of creating space in the knee joint. We're gonna pause and hold this for a moment. So again, if there's discomfort in your knee, if you're not cherishing it, then you should be sitting on the block. Reach up and come forward into a position that you can just be still and listen to the inner sounds that present themselves when you are still. When you're ready, breathe in and come up. Breathe out, hands down. We're gonna let that left leg stretch out a little bit. Take the right leg and bend into the knee. Extend through the left leg. This is the name of a bird. I'm not saying Poe's names today. <laughs> you can rock back and forth a little bit. So if your shin bone doesn't want to come parallel to the mat, I raised my hand on that one, then you can even do it with your, your kneecap facing forward and be here. Focus on opening up the, the note in the front of your left hip, or maybe somewhere right in between here. And when we go to settle into this, this is another one where you can take your block, Put it underneath the right hip for more support. Being here, if you like the comfort of the ground, come down and let it rest. Maybe you wanna lengthen through your spine, hug your thighs. Follow me with some movement with the left hand. And sometimes that left hand wants to play a note with the left foot. If it's there for you, reach. Listening to your music that you're creating one of a kind. That's what these practices are about. Release the posture. Come down onto your right sit bone. Take both legs out in front of you. Shake them out for a moment. Notice any differences. Inhale, reach your arms up. Engage your legs, maybe just pressing the back line into the ground. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, falling forward. Pause and hold wherever you're comfortable. Breathe in, lifting back up. And breathe out, hands down. Let's try coming back to all fours again. Because we've got another stanza coming, another side to do. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, press back. Inhale, come forward. We're going to come into a down dog now. So if you prefer not to, you don't have to. Otherwise, exhale, roll your toes under. Lift your hips up but play in this position. Let your toes and your heels be part of the notes. You can shake your head out, shift your hips. Maybe the legs stay straight, you lift one hip and then the other. How does it feel to just let your head hang? We're gonna find a little bit of a rhythm coming back into our core, into that strong space that holds all of our notes. So as you exhale, bend your knees, drop your shins, let your shoulders float over your wrists. 
Inhale, lift up into your down dog. Exhale, drop and hover. Inhale, up. Exhale, drop and hover. Last one, lift up. Hold your down dog. Might be all kinds of upside down sounds coming out now. Come down, bring your right foot forward. You can use box underneath your hands, but take that back and forth motion. Awaken your inner sounds to this new position. When you're ready, hug the thighs, breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, let yourself come forward. Maybe you wanna do it with the hands just staying on the thigh. Right? How much sound do you want to create? I think of this amount of sound we're choosing to create as the amount of sensation, right? And you hold that volume dial for the sounds that are emerging from your body. And sometimes some of those sounds are er, ah, crunch, right? <laughs> I get those. Next one. <laughs> reach up. We're gonna drop your right hand and reach with your left hand. Er, er, er. <laughs> got something going on in my left ribs. What do you got? <laughs> oh, let it go. Be willing to let it flow. You can use your blocks if you want. Roll your back toe under. Lift the knee. Inhale. Lift your pelvis up. Hug your thighs. Exhale. Bend both knees. What kind of music are your legs playing? We're gonna settle in this one so you can keep your legs where you are and your hands solid on the ground for more support. You could come up to your thigh. If you wanna try the side bend, drop your right arm, reach through your left, or maybe even wrap your right hand towards your left thigh. Sometimes the music gets louder when we're still as opposed to moving. We'll take that down. You can land and we're gonna turn towards the long edge of the mat. Toes to either side, come on up. And then venture once again, side to side. Hello, right foot and toes. Hello, left foot and toes. Two sides might feel different, <laughs> sound different. I think it's nice when we think about this as instead of a feeling, a sound. What sounds can you sense in your body? Next time we take a look at that right side, we'll settle in so you can stay up high or you can start to work your way down. Maybe you get your heel to the ground. It doesn't matter, it's your music. Support yourself. Perhaps the left arm wants to do a little dance to your inner music. Can you find We're gonna let that come down. 
So we'll be spinning onto the left hip. This is the one where you might want to put a block underneath your left butt cheek. Right shin down, top of the foot down. If you don't need the block, that's okay too, but roll your right calf away from underneath there. Point your kneecap forward. Make any movements that settle you into this position. Where is the inner music? And we'll settle into a space of holding. So you could stay upright. You can come down. I'm just hearing the quiet in your body. Maybe it's not quiet. It might be a rock band playing in the back of your left leg right now. Or your right knee. And recognizing that as long as you feel safe, it's okay, stay present. Listen to the music and let it flow out. Breathe in, let's lift up, change tunes. So you can start to slide your right leg back, bend into your left knee. By all means, if you want to keep your shin parallel to the short edge of the mat and a more traditional style of this per pose with the bird name that I'm not saying, you can. But you can start to reach your right leg back. Maybe that's what we got today. You can stay there. You might slide that block underneath your left hip for more support. Try on a few different tunes. That's how we find out what we need. Maybe you're not a fan of rock music, but rock, rocking motion can feel really good in your body. And settling in, you can come down to the ground, resting, or fire yourself up, hug your thighs. If it's available to you and you want to begin to move your right arm. And settling into your position your song, how can you make this song resonate in your body? Is it different to think of this instead of a posture as a song that you're playing in your body and you get to create the sound? Release the foot, whatever you got going on there. Take both hands to the ground, come to all fours. We're gonna stretch out the legs in a down dog, lifting up as high as you can. Just gonna be a little bit playful with the legs. So step the weight into the right foot, inhale your left leg up. You can keep the leg straight, you can bend it. Play a little bit, move your hip your toes. Let them do a little dance to your music. And if this is uncomfortable, you can do it here on your knee. Take the left leg down, switch. Let your right leg do a happy dance. This is usually when I'd have the, the Bodhi dog come underneath me and try to knock me over. And it was always that reminder to be playful and not to take the practice too seriously. After all, it's practice. It's always practice. Take your foot down. Walk your hands back to your feet. 
and slowly come up. I'm going to finish with just a simple standing motion. Let's feel ourselves fully from our staff, feet wide. As you breathe in, take your arms out. Reach as you breathe out. Bend your knees and just fall towards the ground, however you want. Breathe in, open up, let your music flow. Breathe out and back down. Opening, expanding, closing and compressing. Next one, reach up. Think of yourself like a five-point star. Music coming out of all five points, your head, your hands, your feet. But you're stable on that staff. Staff is your hara line running up from the deep in the core of the earth through the base of your spine, your spine itself, and the crown of the head, all the way to your connection point. And one more movement, standing as you breathe out, bend the knees, take your left hand, let your right hand relax, take your left hand down towards the ground, cross to your right knee, inhale up, recognizing your left side, falling down, we say the left side is the Ida Nadi, related to your lunar side. So if you do alternate nostril breathing, your left side is your calming channel. I also find it can be a little emotional. <laughs> and see if you want to switch the direction. Exhale down into the left. I know when I first did my training, I was very stuck in alignment, and this is the way it should look, just like all in the, all the pictures we see, right? But what about getting from one position to the next? What does that look like? Or more importantly, what does it feel like? What does it sound like? And then we're gonna reach through that left side. You might wanna turn your right foot away from you, if you can, so more of a Pose name that I'm not going to say. Reaching through that back left side. Come back to the center. Five point star. Open yourself up. What resonates with you in this position? And then we'll switch and do the opposite side. Let your left arm relax. As you exhale, bend your knees, sweep down to the ground towards your left foot, and then up through the left side to the right. Maybe you want to go the other way first. There's no right or wrong. We get so stuck in that. There's one way to do it, and creating a box, right? No boxes. Just the flow of your inner music. You can switch the direction of the circles. Left arm's relaxed. It's your right arm that's leading you into song. Come up. See if you can sustain that long right side, you can stay right there or just flip your left toes a quarter of a turn into a certain position. You might bend your left knee. <laughs> My yogi friend over here knows all these poses. Don't say it. And coming back to the center position. One more time. Express yourself fully, completely. Be big. Think of your energy around your body. 
And this is your energy space. Hold it. Fill it with your song and send it up to whoever it is or whatever it is that you are dedicating this practice to. Take your hands to heart center. Bend your knees. If you'd like, you can jump your feet together. And we're going to work our way down onto the ground. Where Michael will play for us during Shavasana. Take your time coming back down. If you have a blanket that you want to put over your body, under your knees, making yourself more supported. When we come into this final resting pose, I will name it Shavasana. Why not? It's everybody's favorite, I hope. What happens is we've just differentiated all these parts. We've learned to play these individual notes. And sometimes those notes create a full song when we're lucky in practice, but they don't always during the practice itself. So when we come into Shavasana, the goal is to create one song to let all those parts become a whole again. Maybe there's one part of your body that's playing louder than another part. The volume dial's still up. Might even be your heart still beating. But let all those parts integrate back into this feeling of a deeper music within this space in your body that is timeless beyond your bones and your muscles your organs Before you get up, just turn the corners of your mouth into my other favorite yoga posture, smile asana. And thank yourself for taking this time to play your song. Even those of us that are non-musical have song within us in all of the cells and the tissues of our body. And I hope that in some way this practice helped you to recognize that and to allow yourself to be playful, to find that spanda, that pulse of the universe in your practice. So thank you all for being there. Thank you for playing.
Krishna. And thanks, patrons, for your support. Remember to subscribe. I'm supposed to say that, so there you go. See you next Saturday. Peace, joy, love, and light.